A Psalm 91 Prayer Before I pray, I would like to explain the following to you about this chapter. It speaks of the type of believers who are so passionate, so hungry and thirsty for God, that they dwell in the secret place of the Most High. This means that they are hidden away they have found a level of communion with God that is not public or common to just anyone. And once they have found this secret place, one commentary says, they shall remain under his care as guests under the protection of their host. Those who commune with God are safe with him. No evil can reach them. For the outstretched wings of his power and love covers them from all harm. This protection is constant. They abide under it, and it is all sufficient. For it is the shadow of the Almighty, whose omnipotence will surely screen them from all attacks from the devil. No shelter can be imagined to be at all comparable to the protection of Jehovah's own shadow. The Almighty himself is where his shadow is, and hence those who dwell in his secret place are shielded by him. And so keep this in mind as I read Psalm 91 and pray. Have a desire to reach the secret place of the Most High. Have a passion to dwell and abide in the secret place of the Most High. And so Psalm chapter 91 says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wing you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night nor of the arrow that flies by day nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look, and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra. The young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honour him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. And so now let us pray. Dear King Jesus, we thank you for a new day. We thank you for a new start, a fresh start. I pray that your anointing rains down upon me. Lord, I desire 
to dwell in your secret place. I desire to abide under your shadow. You are the Almighty God, and I trust you to keep me safe and hidden from darkness. I trust you to keep me safe and hidden from the enemy. Go with me, Lord, and protect me. Let your power fall upon me and prove all of the doubters wrong. Deliver me, O Lord, from the foulest snare and from the perilous pestilence. Deliver me, King Jesus, from the terror by night and protect me from the arrow that flies by day. I pray that you deliver me from the pestilence that walks in the darkness and the destruction that lays waste at noonday. Hide me under your wings, Lord. Take me into your care and protection. Be my shield and buckler. Surely I will speak your word because it is true in my life. And I declare that the Lord is my refuge and is my fortress. My God Jehovah, in him I will trust. I declare your word to be true. A thousand may fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come near me or my family in Jesus' name. Father, I am confident and I boast in you as my Saviour because you are the Lord of all. You are God Almighty. You are the Most High, ruler of all the universe, the maker of heaven and earth. With you on my side, I lack for nothing. With you on my side, I can do all things by your strength. With you by my side, Jesus, I live in abundance. I have more than enough because you are the all-sufficient one. You are our Heavenly Father who loves us so strongly and I thank you for your love, Jehovah. A love without limits. A love that knows no borders. A love that gave us Jesus Christ, the precious Son of God. He died on the cross for all of my sins and all of my failings. And my King rose from the dead to give me a chance to receive eternal life. You gave me a chance to start over with you, Lord, to know you, the living God, to have a personal relationship with you. And so I thank you, I am grateful. Surely, with such love, you will keep me safe from hidden snares. You will keep me safe from all deadly diseases from the enemy. You will protect me and protect my family. With such love, I am confident that you will cover us and place us under your divine protection, where we have supernatural safety. You are faithful because you promise to be our shield and our defence. And so I thank you for your word in Psalm 91. I thank you for words that bring such hope and comfort. Words that encourage me. Words that remind us of your strength today. And Father, I pray that in my life, may I begin to see your glory and power working in all of my circumstances. Because victory and salvation is only found in you. Father, I have set my love upon you and I trust that you will deliver me. I trust and believe that you will and you will always set me on high. You will always set me out of reach from the devil. And I am grateful that when I call upon you, Lord, you answer. I praise you for you are with me 
in times of trouble. You are always there to deliver me. So I uplift your holy name, Lord Jesus, and I give you praise and honour. Thank you for hearing this prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.